Are you looking for a weekend getaway cruiser? Then come with me for a quick walk around tour on this 2006 Sea Ray 240 Sundancer. She's sitting on a nice trailer so you can haul her to the lakes, rivers, oceans, anywhere you want to go. She's great for a couple, maybe a couple with two little kids for the weekend getaway, go anywhere. She's extremely well powered with a 350 mag and Bravo 3 Outdrive has a full camper enclosure, and she's got a lot, a lot of nice amenities. So come with me for a quick walk around tour here at South Mountain Yachts on this blue hulled 2006 Sea Ray Sundancer. Here we are starting off forward port bow on this 2006 Sea Ray 240 Sundancer, sitting on a beautiful painted tandem axle trailer. Coming down along the port side, we see we've got some nice features. She's dressed up with the blue gel coat hull, curved tailor windshield, dual bimini, and we also have the full camper enclosure on this boat. Tires appear to be in good condition. Gel coat's nice and shiny. And then here at the transom, we see we've got our trim tabs, Bravo 3 drive right here. We've got a good spin on the Bravo 3 props, both directions, no gear noises in there tight. Good bellows pulling back. Here we see the name, the boarding ladder, and then coming down the starboard side, this gives us another view on this Sea Ray Sundancer. Nice little trailer cruiser, great for a weekend, Catalina trip, and easily towable to lakes and any place else you'd like to go. Let's go aboard. Here we are. We're going to board this 240 Sea Ray Sundancer using this four step boarding ladder. If you notice, we've got nice wide flat steps and see how deep she actually goes. Got a grab rail right here to help hoist ourselves up and yet another rail right here. We've got an extended swim platform, great place to put your skis on. You do have a ski tow eye right there. We've got trunk storage and that is where you run your power cord through. This gives us an overview of the cockpit. We enter the cockpit through this port side door and immediately we see we have a nice transom bench seat right here with lots of storage underneath. We've got a cocktail table and a little area right here for a wet bar. If you notice, we have molded in side steps to access the side of the boat. Most people though will use them as an additional seat. Pulling back a little bit, on our port side, we have another step right there, and then we've got additional seats right along this side here with cup holders. So there's lots of seating here, probably for six people in comfort. Access to the bow is nice and easy, up these molded in steps and out to the fore deck great place at a lounge pad great place to sit and enjoy the day off to starboard we have a little jump seat here extra wide helm seat if you notice we have a bolster right there now here at the helm we've got a VHF radio down below tilt steering and our dash is right here with the stereo control. If you're gonna go out, you might wanna add a GPS chart plotter, seven inch, eight inch will go quite nicely there. 
speedometer, four in one gauge, tachometer with our control modes and sea craft gauges right in there. All of our switches right in front of us. We've got trim tabs and a little storage area right there. This 240 Sun Dancer is nice. It's an all around little great weekend cruiser. Tow her anywhere and enjoy the fun. Engine access is nice and easy. We do not even have to move the table. Just drop down. easily lift up the hatch if you notice right in front of us we see our Merc Cruiser 350 MPI Horizon which is the upgraded version we have a heat exchanger on that so this engine is freshwater cooled and that will expand the life and decrease maintenance on it the risers appear to be in good condition oil has been changed within the past season We've got extra space along the side. And this gives us an overview. We've got a couple batteries off in the corner along with the water heater. Once we finish our inspections, just drop the hatch and we're now ready to go. We enter the cabin through this center sliding door, down a few steps. Now immediately to port, we have our power panel right there, our 12 volt and our 120 volt right there. We also have our clarion stereo, microwave, good size Corian countertop with a sink. There's no stove, make reservations for dinner instead of food. There you go. We've got a refrigerator down below. Nice wood touches there. And then our V berth is right up here. Got a nice table. Notice the slant on it so we can easily access the sides. We've got padded gunnel storage right there. Now this also fills in for a nice sleeping berth. Sea Ray does a nice job. We have upgraded vinyl padding all around, circling around. We have our head fully lined fiberglass. Now keep in mind this is designed for a weekender. We do have a porta potty that is that does get pumped out right there. Little shower wand also. Circling around, we see Sea Ray's hidden the trash compartment right up under the step. And then back here, we have our mid cabin. Have a nice little privacy curtain, full beam. You've got about three feet of headroom, and then it closes down a little bit. It is full beam, so you can sleep two in comfort with leg room right there. Dreaming is a great weekender, great starter boat, take her anywheres. On the trailer, viewer today, owner tomorrow, here at South Mountain Yachts.